Hello. Today we're going to investigate the analog uh, input capabilities of the Arduino. Analog is it's not the opposite of digital, I suppose, but uh, digital is, as you know, ones and zeros. Analog is a continuous uh, range of values. Uh, the Arduino uh, has the ability to accept as you can see right down here it says analog in 0 through 5 so it has six analog inputs uh, so you can read a variety of uh, things that are not just ones and zeros uh, I thought that for this to investigate this we would use one of these this is uh, it's a uh, photo resistor the uh, value of this resistor gets uh, smaller when there's more light on it. It gets bigger when there's uh, less light on it. Uh, I'm going to use a uh, voltmeter here to find out what the range is. I bought these a long time ago and honestly I can't remember what value there are. They, can't, they come in different values uh, so I need to figure out what value this is before I figure out uh, how I'm going to work. Okay. I've got my voltmeter here set up on uh, ohms range. I have uh, these clips attached to it. Um, we're just going to attach this photoresistor and what I'm going to do first, I'm going to put it under the desk, make it really, really dark under there. And it says 50, about 53 ohms. Photoresistors are not real fast. They, they, uh, they respond. It, t it takes them a second or two to, f to fully respond. Now, if I bring it out onto the desk here, uh, it's in a fair amount of light and it's down to about 1.2 k ohms. If I shine a flashlight directly on it, that might simulate. It's probably not sunlight, but it's outside anyway, and it goes as far down as about 200 ohms. Uh, so you can imagine that. In direct sunlight, it might go with maybe to 100 ohms or something like that. Uh, compared to 50k, almost a dead short. So that gives us an idea of what range we're talking about here. Okay, so what we want, the, the Arduino has uh, analog inlines. If you go to the documentation, you, will, you can find analog read, and it says that when you get a value, you get between 0 and 1023. Uh, the large value you get when it's close to 5 volts and the zero you get when it's at 0 volts. Uh, now what we want to do is since we want a lot of light to equal a large value, uh, if we take this analog inline, as we said, hooking it to 5 volts yields a large value, hooking it to ground yields zero. Since the photoresistor shows smaller values. In other words, it conducts more current when it has a lot of light on it. We put it between 5 volts and in the, in the analog inline. That means that when there's a lot of light going on it, it pulls this analog inline closer to 5 volts. Now, in, there's nothing without this in here, and I will explain this in a moment, there's nothing to keep it from being at 5 volts all the time. If if we, by putting in another resistor here, we create what's called a voltage divider. This wants to pull it up to 5 volts, this wants to pull it down towards ground. I've picked a value of 10,000 ohms because then when it's in a lot of light we'll have 200 fighting with 10,000 ohms and it'll go pretty close to 5 volts. When it gets in very much darkness we'll have 50,000 fighting with 10,000 and it'll pull it down a lot closer to ground. We still won't be using the entire range here but we'll be using a lot of it. There's ways to use the entire range, but they involve a lot more circuitry than this, and I don't really want to get into that uh, for this uh, this lesson. Okay, I built a little circuit up. Uh, I've got the photoresistor and then the resistor there, ground, power, and the sense lead going back to one of the analog inlines. Um, if you go to the analog read documentation that we looked at before, at the bottom there's a basic uh, function here and that's essentially what I'm using here. 
now this is also going to introduce you to uh, what's called serial debugging. What that is, is it's a way for the Arduino to send information back to the computer where you can see on your computer what it's saying. Uh, this line here, serial.println sub val, uh, that will uh, send back the values that are read out. So it's just looping around. I also stuck a little delay. Let me pull up the... Uh, um, here's, here's the actual program that I'm running right now. I just stuck a little tenth of a second delay in there because it's, it's kind of silly to be sent, trying to send back hundreds and hundreds of connections or of readings per second. Um, so anyway, with this running, uh, to, to, we will compile this up and send it off to the Arduino. Uploading, and it's done. And then you need to go up to Tools and Serial Monitor. And then you will see there, it is starting to output values. And they're all around 900 right now. It's in a fair amount of light. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this just little black cap of plastic. Turns out my hand doesn't block very much light. And I'm going to cover that up. You see the values go down to around 400. Um, and if I take it off, they go up to about around 900 again. If I simulate sunny conditions, the flashlight, then we start getting up close to a thousand. So that's probably enough range. Uh, as I said, there's, there's ways uh, with just a resi uh, resistor divider like that, you are always going to have to compromise. You're never going to get all the way to 1023, you're never going to get all the way to zero. If you want to, uh, you can get into designs where you use an op amp or something like that. Uh, which I'm not even going to get into, uh, to fully uh, utilize the range. Um, but this is good enough for probably a lot of stuff. And, you know, you've got a range of about 500 there. Well, y you, can, uh, you can correct for this uh, in software. If all you need to know is basically how bright it is, well, let's, uh, let's say that our range is from 400 to... Uh, a thousand uh, and we're going to translate those in software from values between zero and a hundred okay so I've made some changes to the software uh, now I've taken you remember we were getting values from 400 to a thousand before approximately I've decided that for the purposes of my hypothetical product I need my brightness values to be from zero to 99 or a hundred uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, well, it really never gets below 400. So I'm going to, I want 400 to be my minimum. 400 is the minimum value I'm going to get out here. I'm going to translate that into zero. So I subtract 400 and then I put in this code here to make sure that it never actually goes below zero. It might in, in the, if I actually put this thing outside in the dark, it might get below that. I don't really care. It's just zero is just a value that means it's pretty dark. Um, now that's going to leave me with actually up to 600. So probably instead of dividing by 5, let's divide by 6. So that'll be, that'll translate my 0 to 600 that I have now. I have a 600 range into 0 to 100. And for my hypothetical product again, let's say for some reason I only have two digits. Uh, so let's say if it's still over a hundred, let's just limit it to a hundred, or to ninety-nine. Ninety-nine means it's pretty bright, and then we will just deal with that. Uh, so let's compile this and send it off to the Arduino. And there, it is done. We go tools, serial monitor. Where is it? Oh, sorry. Can't see through the screen here. So let's see where we're at. We're at 83, 84. Let me put my flashlight on it and see what happens. And it goes up to 99. Yeah, pretty good. If I take the flashlight away, it goes down to the 80s or so. I put my hand over the top of it. 
goes down 40, 39. Now if I put that piece of black plastic over the top of it, it goes to zero. It's pretty dark. If I start to pull it away, it goes up into small values. We get a pretty effective uh, light sensor here. And that's, uh, so you, you have an example now of using an analog input that uses, it's a little more real world example, and uh, just a real quick proof of concept there, and also how to use the serial monitor to get a little bit more information there. You can use the serial monitor to do uh, all kinds of things. You can have it print just information for you that says things like, hey, the button's pressed and uh, we're going to do this now. Or, hey, somebody pressed both of these buttons at the same time. That's not supposed to happen. Or different things like that. You can give notes to yourself uh, that you can, so you can see uh, sort of what's happening inside the, the running program. Uh, this becomes very helpful when a program isn't doing the sort of things that you think it should be doing. You can start peppering in these print line uh, things and use the serial monitor to sort of figure out what the heck is going on inside of there. So I hope this is helpful to you.